He's not. Are you gonna punch me, blood? I don't know where. You cannot tell me you can smoke me. I f up. My coaches were like, hell no. It's not happening. You're mentally sick. No, Look, what, at your you. Look at you. Look at you. You're caught up. Really? Really? I don't think there's ever been a more anticipated tip sport game changer fight than the one we're going to see in Birmingham. Now, like from his side, it's personal. Oh, f off. Oh, f off. Oh, f off. You're scared. Come stay face to face. It's not on my level. I'm going to put down this clown. It's a million euros on the line, but nothing at the moment means more than this fight. Akon Wanlis versus Sahil Siraj. I was born in Jamaica. My mum left Jamaica with me. We had pretty much nothing, and my mum worked multiple jobs to, just to keep us afloat. Them lessons have taught me a lot that I bring into fighting and the honour that I carry as a, as a man now. Oh, the right hand! Oh, the Jedi looking for the finish. Here he comes! That is it! The Jedi strikes! When I first heard about the Titsport Game Changer, I was super excited. This is the Champions League of MMA. What a moment! This is the biggest thing ever to happen to Octagon. I am destined to be the champion, so you've got to have me. I know you guys might hate me, but one by one, and one day, I will be champion. The preparation for the first round back in Ostrava was really good. Not trying to be friends with my opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why he started with this kind of stuff. I will stay there, okay, we're gonna shake hands. He starts saying some stupid things, and then Reza get mad. My coach, it starts from there. The energy from the airport grew into the first face-off in the morning. It almost became physical. Get the you're gonna teach me. Oh, we'll see. Oh, we'll see. Look at you. We'll see. What do you mean, look at me? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, look at me. He's always trying to be the respectful guy. So all of a sudden, the team switch definitely made me know that he thinks I'm a massive threat. It's gonna be first round knockout. Two minutes. Less than two minutes. Bro, you got. You look. Yes, you got one little short leg. My dick's longer than your leg, fam. Look at you. This no, is you how clown talks. What do you mean? And after I knock you out in round one, I bounce the jaffa cake off your coach's head. Oh, how about that? Hey. Oh, we Look at him. Come, come, coach. Come. Next. Yeah, yeah, you're next. And it just escalated and escalated and escalated. I hear that someone is fighting. I go out and I see my coach is fighting with him. You cannot tell me you can smoke me. I f up. That is the moment that stopped the fight for then. This was too much. It was on a public scene. We have to somehow punish the team of Sahel Siraj. He lost 50% of his purse from first round and his uh, trainers was banned for life from octagon tournaments. It is out of character to see a coach uh, attack a fighter. And to be honest, it was unexpected. I don't really think there was anything that was that deep that the situation had to go that way. I was so disappointed in, you know, how everything came out. But then, you know, the silver lining to it was, you know, we're going to your hometown now. That has added an intensity to this fight. I don't justify anything of what happened that night from either side. And at the end of the day, if you provoke a guy long enough, there's going to be a reaction. I never act like a violent person because I know it's not the right way. He said some stuff that is like, don't make any sense. Oh, I grew up in so hard time. I grew up in Afghanistan, man. Sahil Siraj is unique. When he steps inside there, he has one mission, and that is to cause you as much damage as possible, to leave you unconscious to become the nightmare that you will never wake up from. I was only working eight hours on the roof in Sweden, but now the six months I stop with work, I only do training. Now I'm a different person. Everything goes very good. He's always ready. I go do my work, knock him out in the first round, bring the cash home, and that's it. Who cancelled the fight? What do you mean who cancelled the fight? You, who cancelled the fight? Did. 
You're lucky to fight Sarah. And then you get mental sick. Who said the mentally sick? You. Who said that? You. You said I... you were mentally sick. No, Look what, at you. Coach? Look at you. No. He's like a little bit like in his brain, like still like a kid. When did I cry? You cry. You say, oh. When did I cry? We're going back That's to That's why mentality. you cancelled the fight. Because you're caught. Really? Your really? opportunity. You're scared. Come step face to face. Oh, oh, oh look at you. There's going to be a different energy in the arena when that fight takes place. You know, I have the best welterweight in the whole world. Preparing for fights for me is like hunting that gazelle, you know, and, and Shiraj is my gazelle. I just can't wait when I knock out Shiraj and I will grab my Jaffa cake and I'll bounce it clean off his head. Jeez! What is in front of these guys now is the biggest test of their career and that comes in the form of each other. For me, it's one of the biggest fights of the year, and the winner of this one has every chance of going on and winning the entire Tipspot Game Changer tournament. We're gonna blow the roof off in the resorts arena, so let's go. I hope you're ready, Akan, because it's gonna be your biggest nightmare in Birmingham. April 20th, Octagon 56 in the Resorts World Arena in Birmingham. Get your tickets now at theticketfactory.com.